Hello viewers. Today we will be discussing about the graphical representation in linear motion. Now what is linear motion? Linear motion means that when we require only one coordinate axis and time to represent the motion of a particle, then it is said to be in linear or rectilinear motion. Now what is a graph? A graph actually is a pictorial representation where two datas are connected with each other, the mode of connecting the two quantities. There are basically four types of graphs known as bar graph, histogram, pie chart, and line graph. So today we will be discussing about the line graph. Now, what is that line graph? In line graph, we take two axes, one y-axis and one x-axis. On the x-axis, we take the independent variable and on the y-axis, we take the dependent variable. And then we plot the graph by connecting these two physical quantities and the data points or the markers which we are getting on the plotting of the or on the connecting these two quantities they are the data points are connected with the help of line segments and when we join this line segment we get a line now this line is not necessarily every time a straight line it may be in the form of a curve or in a zigzag manner so now let us start the displacement time graph what is displacement before that Yes, it is the shortest distance between the final and the initial position. So let me share the slides. So the first slide says about the graphical representation of linear motion, which is today's topic, that is displacement time graph. The second slide discusses about the case one that is the displacement time graph for a stationary object stationary object that means the body is or the object is not moving why it will not move see the concept is that the displacement time graph for a stationary object is a line parallel to the time axis this why it is the uh, so this is because if a body is motionless its distance remain constant throughout the time. The velocity in the body will be zero and hence the slope of the graph will be also zero. Now just, um, I will try to explain you once more. Here, this is called the origin and I'm taking displacement on the y-axis and time on the x-axis. As you can see, the displacement is proportional to time. It depends upon the time. I'm recording different displacement at different instant of time. So the displacement is the dependent variable and time is the independent variable. And now if say uh, when time is uh, zero, then displacement is 10 meter. When time is two seconds, displacement is 20, uh, sorry, 10 meter again. When the time is exceeding suppose four seconds then also displacement is 10 meter so at every instant of time displacement is your 10 meter it's not changing and what is velocity velocity is the ratio of change in displacement upon time when there is no change only in displacement that means the velocity will be zero so two things you have to remember for displacement time graph for a stationary object first that the velocity will be zero because there is no change in displacement. And second, that the graph which we plot is always parallel to the time axis. Now, coming to the other slide, this is about displacement time graph with a uniform velocity. Uniform velocity means the velocity will remain constant. It will not change. Now, the concept is, if we make a graph of displacement versus time and our object is moving at a constant velocity, the graph will form a straight line. 
we put displacement on the y axis and time on the x axis we call this a linear graph the slope of the displacement time graph gives the instantaneous velocity of the body if the slope of the graph is constant we say that the body is moving with constant velocity now let me explain see this is the origin and as in the previous case, here also we can see that displacement is on the y-axis being the dependent variable and time on the x-axis being the independent variable. Now, if say at 0 seconds, time is also 0 here. If say at time 2 seconds, displacement is 20 meter. Time 4 seconds, displacement is 40 meter. Time 6 second, displacement is 60 meter. Now, if I want to find the velocity, instantaneous velocity, that means velocity at a particular time, say velocity at t is equal to 2 second. What I told about the displacement at 2 seconds? Yes, 20 meter. So what will be the velocity here? Change in displacement upon change in time. So what is the change in displacement here? 20 minus 0 divided by 2 minus 0 that comes out to be 10 meter per second so this is the instantaneous velocity when time is at 2 seconds now let us see when the time is at 4 second let us calculate the velocity again change in displacement upon change in time so what will be that 40 upon 4 that again comes to be 10 meter per second so we can see here that the velocity remains constant it's not changing so this is called a uniform velocity and when we join the markers what we are getting here we are getting a straight line that's why it is called a linear graph i hope you understood this now the next slide Displacement time graph with a variable velocity. That means here the velocity is changing. Let us see the concept over here. If we make a graph of displacement versus time and our object is moving at a variable velocity, the graph will not form a straight line, but it is a curve. The velocity at any instant can be obtained by finding the slope. That is the gradient of the tangent drawn on the curve at that instant of time. Now, let me explain this. This is again the origin, displacement on the y-axis and time on the x-axis. Now, suppose at zero, when time is zero second, displacement is, uh, is also zero. Now, at two seconds, let, let's take at two seconds, let the displacement be 10 meter. Then at 5 seconds, let it be 30 meter. Then at uh, 6 seconds, let it be 47. So here, when I join the markers, what I'm getting? I'm getting a curve. I'm not getting a straight line. Then how to find the instantaneous velocity? Suppose I want to find the velocity here when time was 5 seconds. What I will do? I will draw a tangent over here on that particular uh, point let it be a i'm drawing the tangent and the gradient of the tangent will give me the velocity over there now let us solve a numerical then your concept will be more clear the graph below shows a body's position at different times calculate the speed of the body as it moves from a to b B to C and C to D. Now you can see here, this is the origin and here is the time axis, here is the displacement. Now, A, B, what is the nature of the graph here? It is linear, that means the body is moving with uniform velocity. Let us calculate that. Here uniform velocity will be what? Change in displacement upon change in time. So it will be what? Four minus 0 upon 10 minus 2, right? This is your 4 and this is your 0. So 4 minus 0 upon 10 minus 2. So how much it comes? Yes, calculate it. Very good. 4 divided by 10 minus 2, that is 8. 
So that comes out to be half or 0 0.5 meter per second. Now, coming here, B, C. Here what we can see, the body is stationary. The velocity is zero. Why? Because there is no change, only in displacement. At 10, at 12, at 14. All uh, during these times, the displacement is four. It's not changing only, fine? Now coming to C, D here. What we are seeing here? Again, it is a uniform motion, uniform velocity. Let us calculate it. What will be the displacement, change in displacement? 14 minus 4. That means how much? 14 minus 4 will be how much? 10. Very good. 10 meter. And what will be the time over here? 18 minus 14. That is 4. So it comes out to be how much? 2.5 meter per second. Correct. So with the help of graph, we can calculate the speed of the body. So I hope the graphical representation of linear motion is very, very much clear to you all. With a little practice, you will find it very, very interesting. Thank you.